The transition to a sustainable, clean world has begun. Key to this transition will not only be the world's embrace of zero emission electric vehicles, but also how electric vehicle batteries are made. Battery cells use two electrodes, the cathode and the anode. That's where Talga comes in. Talga's Vitangi graphite ore project in northern Sweden will supply thousands of tons of graphite for electric vehicle battery anodes, processed with clean electricity. While electric vehicles are new, the graphite that Talga will turn into battery anodes began forming more than two billion years ago. Two billion years ago, the Earth was a very different place. The atmosphere had very little oxygen and high amounts of CO2. The only life were ancient single-celled organisms known as cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria are ancestors of plants and survived through photosynthesis, feeding off carbon dioxide and producing oxygen. They were so good at photosynthesis that they fundamentally changed the chemistry of the atmosphere in what is called the Great Oxygenation Event. In fact, they pumped so much oxygen into the atmosphere that they not only helped set the stage for all modern life to evolve, but also poisoned themselves in the process. The Great Oxygenation Event led to a sudden and massive wipeout of cyanobacteria, which drifted down to the bottom of the shallow seas, forming a thick, carbon-rich organic layer. It's this carbon-rich layer which is the main ingredient in what will become Talga's source of green graphite. Let's fast forward. Over millions of years, the carbon-rich layer is buried under 10 to 15 kilometers of other sediments and rocks, placing it under enormous pressure. So much pressure that the carbon-rich layer goes through a process called metamorphosis and evenly crystallizes into graphite. But it doesn't stop there. Volcanic intrusions shoot through, which Talga geologists believe increased the purity of the graphite. So, after hundreds of millions of years, those cyanobacteria have been turned into graphite, which is perfect for battery anodes. But the graphite isn't useful to anyone if it's 10 to 15 kilometers underground. Powerful forces driven by the incredible energy in the Earth's core buckle and deform the crust. At the same time, sea levels retreat and volcanic domes of rock bend the graphite layer upwards. Through weathering and erosion, the ore body is exposed at the surface in modern-day northern Sweden. There are numerous ore deposits in the Vittangi project area, but the first that Talga will be tackling is called Nunnansvara South. This ore body is 1.2 kilometers long and over 200 meters deep, forming part of the highest grade graphite mineral resource in the world. This initial mining operation is scheduled to produce approximately 100,000 tons of graphite ore every year over a total mine life of 24 years. That's enough graphite for the batteries of millions of electric vehicles. Once each pit has been mined, Talga plans to progressively backfill them and begin restoring the environment to its pre-mine use. This is a visualization of the mine approximately 15 years into the life of its operation. Talga works closely with local stakeholders to ensure that any localized impact is minimal. Constraints have been put on the mining schedule to avoid activities during periods of the year when reindeer movements are expected. Once the graphite ore is mined, it will be milled and concentrated on site. Then the graphite concentrate will be taken to nearby Luleå to be purified and refined into green battery anode, ready for sale to battery manufacturers. All of the processing in Sweden uses clean electricity, as Talga's mission is to enable the world's most sustainable batteries and consumer products using graphite-based materials.